Before I started teaching 12 years ago, I was a chemical engineer for 25 years. Um, when I was in high school, I had no idea what engineering was. I took science classes, I took math classes, but I had no idea what engineering was. Luckily, a guidance counselor said to me, oh, you're good in chemistry, you're good in math, you should be a chemical engineer. So I did. Um, and I loved it. I loved being an engineer. Um, I think I think I've always wanted to have a problem to solve, something to understand, something to figure out, something to make faster, better, bigger, somehow. Um, and so when the idea of teaching engineering students, teaching engineering in high school came up a couple of years ago, I thought that sounds great. Because I don't think there is an advocate for engineering engineering careers in the high school. There's science, there's math, but we don't put it together. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The, uh, the first class we started three years ago, and usually the second class in the sequence is called Principles of Engineering, which is just that. It talks about some really important principles of engineering. Um, simple machines, compound machines, circuits, um, energy, strength of materials, um, they learn some robotics, um, some statistics, just a lot of really cool stuff. Um, it's the first course that I became familiar with. The third class, our third class in the sequence, we added it last year, is aerospace engineering, which is exactly what you would think. We talk about aviation and some space travel. One of the things that we learn in, in uh, the class is robotics and, um, and remote control. I don't think any of the other high school has most of the official classes here. One other thing that's a little bit unusual here and cool is students in Introduction to Engineering Design and Principles of Engineering are concurrently enrolled at El Camino. They have El Camino transcripts. They, they're getting um, engineering technology credit for being in this course here. Um, and so when they go to college, wherever they go to college, they will transfer um, those three or six units of engineering technology credit with them. Um, the Project Lead the Way program is very highly regarded um, so that a lot of schools in the area, San Diego State, San Jose State, Cal Poly Pomona, and Cal Poly San Luis Obispo will give students preferred admission if they've completed these courses in high school. But um, Dana Hagen has Mr. Hagen has the most comprehensive and most engaging class here, a class series of classes in the district. On it, so that's how much uh, change. L, uh, read the distance the from the floor the to the beam while someone is standing on it. After calculating all that, you'll find F, and F will be the weight of your elasticity of that. They don't run right now because they're not charging us things. And you plug one into the positive, one into the negative, and it and fold them over and it creates, it creates a circuit. The electron that comes down straight into here and heats up the plate, the metal plate that's within. And the heat produces 
makes the water pretty much break down and you get the hydrogen fuel cells that are coming out of it. Now with that, those are connected to the breadboard. With the breadboard, it connects to the motor and it causes the motor to go. And the car is like run that hydrogen fuel cells. Hopefully that's the new way of driving cars. Uh, you also have to take my own, but, like, I'm in right now, but Nick took, uh, part of the summer. I think part of the summer is also Yeah. Uh, these classes? Yeah. You can take them, um, most of them are offered at one side, then here in the narrow space, and the exam, you can take the principal and the The engineering courses are fun, they're very hands-on, and there's like never a dull moment in any of the classes. You're always doing something, you're always working together as a group. It's very good for building team skills and character. It's a great, the, all the programs, they're, uh, they, they're not all the same. That's, that's what's good about it. Like in math, you just solve for X and stuff like that. Like this, like, different problems, like in principles engineering, you do the, you build cars and stuff. Engineering, you get to use the 3D printer that we have, and then aerospace engineering, you get to use the wind tunnel and um, make remote control cars. And it's just very fun classes. I feel like. Can you explain the course we're working with right now? Uh, so pretty much we are designing our different parts and also um, we're actually looking at parts and finding out how to create different work planes and we're sketching them out in our actually engineering notebook and then we're creating them on Inventor, making them into 3D models and we just got a 3D printer so in the end we just printed it out. Well, I think it's a, it's a really good opportunity, you know, like before I took these classes I had no idea what I wanted to do like considering like physical therapy being a, I don't know, firefighter. But then once I took the engineering classes, I realized like there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this and you can apply it to your jobs after college. So I think it's a good, uh, good way to learn what you want to do and learn about yourself. For me, it was more of like, I always knew I kind of wanted to be engineering or something in STEM. So it was, for me, it was like a head start. And I was like, it was showing, it was also, me able to show colleges like, hey, I'm interested in this. Like, I've got three years under my belt already. I want to do this. I think it's wonderful that they're offering this in the high schools and that the kids are able to get college credit. Um, you know, Mr. Hagen, he's a really cool guy. He worked at Exxon Mobil for like 20, 30 years and then became a teacher. So I think he's really like shown us that you can take a path, you know, where you want to go in life. And um, engineering is one way to get there, and it's really hard to put into words, but, you know, he's just kind of an inspiration to all of us in his classes. He's the wizard of Torrance High. Come on. Well, in engineering, we do a lot of different things. We build cars, we work with solar energy, we work with hydro, hydroelectric fuel, and we also use beam deflection and see how well boards are. Well, we can build things. Are these products fun? Um, actually, yeah, they're a lot of fun. When I first got to build a car, there was a lot of things I didn't know about, like how to work with circuits, um, and how fast the car can go using different motors and different gears, finding gear ratios, and things are a lot of fun. Just being using your brain, whatever imagine. You're using your imaginative brain, imaginative brain, <laughs> to build whatever comes up in your brain. <laughs> What's it like teaching engineering courses? Um, it's so much fun. Um, it's so much fun teaching. It's so much fun teaching these projects. It's so much fun teaching students who, who are so engaged in the projects. Who, uh, um, you know, students who find solutions. That, that I wouldn't have found, um, students that, that, that struggle and then achieve very cool um, success. Um, I think these are great courses uh, and, I, and I love teaching them. I, I, I can't really explain, um, I can't explain how much fun they are. Um, 